Welcome to Avon Glen Gospel Mission Church. I'm Pastor Wayne. And this is just a few short words that perhaps help someone through today in the midst of a problem. Have you ever been tempted to think that God has simply turned his back on you? He has, he has left you to defend for yourself? Well, let me assure you, he is not. But we question God's care for us once in a while when troubles hit because the Lord does say that he will take care of us. Well, here's an example of some of the words that Jesus spoke. Jesus said, I tell you, do not worry about your life. When you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than, than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? Ah, oh, you of little faith. So do not worry saying, what shall I eat or what shall I drink or what shall we wear? The pagans run after those things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need those things. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. <laughs> Each day has enough trouble of its own, Jesus said. Few days back, we experienced a snowstorm that dropped 30 to 40 centimeters of snow. Of course, the day after the storm, you could find us digging ourselves out, and then things calmed down for a day. Yet yesterday, when 30 kilometer per hour winds ripped across the land, it reshaped all of that snow that had fallen. So we will be once again digging our way up. It would be easy to say, God has forgotten about us. Asking why would God make us do all of this work all over again? But then I recall some of the troubles and experiences I went through as an adolescent, as a teenager, the self-doubt, the worries about how others were perceiving me, my, my personal failures, how others were mean or cruel to me. And I questioned them when those things were happening to me, why those things were happening to me. Had God abandoned me then? But then I look around today, and when similar things to those experiences from my past happen today, I hardly even notice them because I have grown and I have matured as a person. Those difficult days of my youth made me stronger. Those difficult days prepared me for life that was ahead. Had God turned his back on me long time ago in those days? No, he was training me for life. If you are being tempted to think God has turned his back on you because of some of the troubles you are facing today, well, hear these words that David wrote from Psalm 139. He wrote, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my, my thoughts from afar. 
You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is even on my tongue, you, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind, before. You lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain, too lofty for me to understand. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wing of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness, the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you, O Lord. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. And I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame is not hidden from you. When I was made in that secret place, when it was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. And all the days ordained for me were, were, have already been written in your book before one of them even came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, my Lord. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. And when I awake, I am still with you. The Lord has not turned his back upon you. In the midst of the storm, in the midst of the trouble that you may be facing even today, he is with you. Trust him. He will see you through, and he will strengthen you for tomorrow. Amen.